Once you are ready to set up an objective-based assessment, that means that you're going to set up a pretest based off of a standard or a couple standards or anchors, and then you're going to have it create a learning path for you for students to be able to take. And then after that, you want to create a post-test to see their advances of from the pretest and once they learned and practiced their learning path to how much more they've achieved in their post-test. In order to do that, you're going to click on Assessment and you're going to the Test Builder. When you click on Test Builder, you get to choose the standards that you're looking for. So whether you're going to Common Core or Pennsylvania State Standards. You then will choose the subject that you're looking for to be able to set up. And you want to then choose your grade level. Don't worry about keyword search or objective additions and click next. You will notice here now that there's a whole slew of standards that are listed. You can take time to read through those and look for the ones that you want. But for the sake of time, I am going to just choose a couple of them. Notice that you can click the entire standard and all of it is going to choose. Or you can go into the individual anchors if you wanted to do that as well or you can click the targets here and it'll take those three. So I'm going to select key ideas and details and then click next. This shows me all of the questions that are associated with this pretest. I can click on it and actually see the question if I want. The thing that you're not able to do is take out some of these questions individually from some of the other questions that are there. So if you don't want this one or this one but you want these three, you're unable to do so. Click next. Now you want to enter a name for the test. We've been recommending that you use your last name and then call it a pretest and then name it. You could put a message in here to your students if you want. In your parameters, we're not leaving we're we're not going to change anything here. Um, but we want to talk about our mastery score. You want to decide what the mastery is, that if they achieve this mastery level, then if they exceed that mastery. Uh, if they achieve that mastery, they will not get a learning path. Uh, so if they get a 79% or a 79.4%, they're not going to, they will get a learning path in this case if I set it to 80. So if they achieve an 80 or above, then they're finished. I want it to build a learning path. I want la navigation to occur, and I'm going to click on Next. Here it shows me the standards that I've chosen, and it's a, always a good idea to copy these standards at this point to go on to our next screen to hit Save. So what I want to do right here is give it the same name again. So I'm calling it Zimmerman Pretest Key Ideas. Okay, I want it to occur in sequential order, and that means that notice here is the pretest that I just set up, and here it added a learning path. So if students don't achieve an 80% or above in this pretest, then they're going to have to take this. Uh, learning path, but notice that it's sequential, so they can't go into the learning path before they actually take the pretest. So that's pretty important. Now I'm going to click on complete assignment. In the description, I'm going to paste the standards that I copied in earlier, and then availability. Whether my assignments or sometimes if you're sharing, maybe my school would be a good idea. It's always good to choose the grade again, the subject, and the grade level. And here, you, it's just a reiteration of what you've chosen earlier. So right now, I want to assign students to this. So I'm going to click on Next. I'm going to find the class I created. And I can choose the class here, and it will select all the students that are in the class. Or I can click on the plus and choose just the student that I want it to be associated with. And I can click Finish and Close. And now that pretest is associated to that student. Now, what I need to be able to do is create a post test and remove that learning path. So, to create the post test, I'm going back into uh, courses and assignments, and this time assignment builder, to find my assignment archive. The assignment archive is where I can find my assignments. So, in this case, I'll do a search 
and here's the assignment that I've chosen. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click open a copy. This is the exact thing that I just created with the pretest and the learning path. In this case though, I'm changing it to post test. And because it's the post test, I no longer need this learning path. So I'm going to check it and click remove. So now this is the only way the system will give you a report at the end from the gains of the pretest to the post test. And now I'm going to click complete assignment. And I'm going to say no right now. I don't want to assign it to students because I want students to take the uh, pretest and learning path first before they go into the post test. And I'm going to click on next as I did before and close. That sums it up to be able to create any type of pretest set to a standard. It will create a learning path for you. You can always get back and look at what you created, but if you don't like the actual pretest that you set up, maybe you assigned it to yourself and you took it and you realized you don't like that, you can check the box here and delete it and start all over by going to assessment and clicking again on the task builder. Enjoy your day.